And finally, travelling the UK perhaps isn't all that unusual, but when you're doing it to take pictures of lifeboat stations, you're sure to raise some eyebrows. Well, Jack Lowe is doing just that. The photographer is taking pictures of all the RNLI lifeboat stations around the country. Our reporter Amy Dunsmuir met him on his first visit to Scotland. It's not a technique photographers tend to opt for these days, but it's perfect for Jack Lowe. He's using the process perfected between the 1850s and 1880s for his new project, capturing life at RNLI lifeboat stations. I was given my first camera when I was eight years old and shortly afterwards was introduced to my first lifeboat, at a point from which I was hooked um, and soon joined the, the junior side of the RNLI uh, as a Storm Force member. Um, and from, those, from that tender age, I always knew that I wanted to be a lifeboatman and a photographer. And, so I'm halfway there. Over five years, Jack will travel to all 237 RNLI stations across the UK and Republic of Ireland. And he'll do it all in this, a decommissioned ambulance that's now been turned into a mobile darkroom. I wanted to do something special. I wanted to make a, a project that was special. Um, and for me, that was going to every single lifeboat station and recording the RNLI family for posterity. So a, a legacy a photographic legacy for me and a legacy for the RNLI as well, highlighting all the work that these um, amazing volunteers do around our coastline. Initially it was a case of um, thinking, why is this guy doing this? But um, when you actually look at the, the photographs that he produces, they're phenomenal. We've had people wanting to sort of kayak their way around or cycle their way around and so on. So, um, but what Jack is, is producing is, is just absolutely fantastic. Once complete, Jack will have over 1,000 images and an unprecedented documentation of the RNLI, all of which will be used to produce an exhibition and book to help fundraise for the historic institution. Amy Dunsmuir, STV News, Helensborough.